Hi, my name is Kate Bach. I'm gonna take you through my nighttime skincare routine, but first, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of Pompette. This is a hard sparkling seltzer water that I've been working with ever since I discovered them. I love this. It's light, natural, clean, takes the edge off, and is a perfect part of my wind down. So let's pour ourselves a glass and get to the skincare. Okay, so step one, get your hair out of your face, always. I've been loving scrunchies, and I know it's funny that they're back in, but they really don't make a mark in my hair, so yay. Cleanser, that is my first makeup remover step. This is Covey, it's a new brand. It is my friend Emily DiDonato and Christina Uribe's brand. They were really obsessed with getting a cleanser that got all of your makeup off. Emily's a model, she's on set all the time. She has lots of eye makeup that gets really stuck in there. She has lots of waterproof mascara. She tried multiple different iterations of this to get the perfect one and she really nailed it. So I've been loving this. It really takes everything off and leaves your skin clean and ready to go. So it's kind of like a gel texture. You don't need to use too much and I'm gonna suds it up in the sink and I'll be right back. Okay, how fresh faced am I? Step two, this is Dr. Barbara Sturm's vitamin C, the good serum. I was told vitamin C is very important, so I listened to that. I'm gonna put a few drops in my hand. This is my step before moisturizer. I rub it together because I keep hearing that if you warm up product, it works better. And then press that into your skin and your neck. Don't forget your neck. Beat your chest a little bit too. There we go. Lovely. Step three, I love this product, as you can see, because it's almost over. Um, this is Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. I've loved this since I first got it. It's just a really rich, hydrating cream. Um, I like the tech, I just used a lot, whoops. <laughs> a little bit for my arms too, I guess. <laughs> I um, discovered this a few years ago and I've just really loved it ever since. My, my arms are gonna feel great now tomorrow too, great. So I'm gonna warm that up. Um, it's just so hydrating. I also like this one. You can put it in the fridge and have kind of like a refreshing cooling cream if you want. Um, and then it kind of helps with under eye bags too, which is always great. So I'm gonna do neck and chest. I remember being on set at a makeup artist saying like, never forget like your chest and your neck are part of your face. They need to be moisturized every day also. Okay, my face is nice and hydrated now. I hate dry lips. This is my favorite sable. I use it every single night. It's the Agave um, Bite Beauty Lip Balm. So super hydrating. I love it. It's really rich. I usually put it on in the morning too, actually. It's just like a great product to have. Okay, so I have been washing my hands more than ever this year. I think everybody has, which is great, but it leaves your hands feeling quite dry and crispy. I Discover 10 over 10, they have like hand repair, hand serums, really nice hand creams because they're a manicure company. And I actually curated my own kit with them because I fell in love with these products so much. It's three steps and it's an overnight routine. So this is something you can do every night before bed, like we're gonna do right now. Step one, serum. So I like to apply that to the outside of my hand, just a little bit here and I rub them together. It's just super hydrating and it really leaves your hands feeling anything but crispy, um, like hydrated and soft. Step two, cream. This one's also really hydrating. These are all natural products, which I really like. They don't have anything weird in them. They're just so hydrating. And I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up with just beautifully soft hands and I think Hands are one of the first things that show signs of aging, so the most that you can do to avoid or slow down aging, the better. And my last step with 10 over 10 is a rose cuticle oil. So I also hate when my fingers are kind of looking gross, and this I just apply to all my cuticles. As you can see, these are very quick little steps, but they really, really make the difference. There we go, all 10 fingers and just kind of rub it in. 
and you can leave it on thick. Like we're just going to bed now, so not to worry. And that's it guys. I'm basically ready to go. I'm in my PJs. I'm gonna finish up my glass over here. And brush my teeth and head to bed. It's been a pleasure. Good night guys.